everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the third installation of Organizing My Life. Every week I'd like to show you little different things I'm doing around my house that we find as a family helpful. As you know, I'm not a special organizing channel. I definitely have a lot to learn. I don't have uh, any fancy way of doing things, but I'm trying to work out things that are going to make things functional for our family. So I'll make this a very brief video. This is our back hallway closet in our room, in, our, in, our, in the back of the house, excuse me. And as you can see, we've got up at the very top, we have some shampoos and body washes. I have some lotions and some Q-tips and an extra billfold up there. Um, over here on the left, I have some different uh, like Febreze and things like that. I have some nail polish removers, some extra um, this pumpkin, ooh, pumpkin macaroon hand soap, um, and some sunscreen, things like that. Some of these are just miscellaneous things, body spray, some deodorants. The big thing that I did to make it more functional is we labeled some things. This is dental in this basket. This is extra makeup here. This is miscellaneous. This basket, which I feel is the most important basket, says my husband's name on there, Al. And the reason that I did that is many times he can't find something. It might be toothpaste or a toothbrush or deodorant. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. And he gets frustrated because he's digging all in here and can't find it. So what I did is I kind of put together a care basket with his name on it and put all the things that I know he uses in here. I had him look through it and make sure he was happy with it. I told him if he runs out of something to please put it on the list and I can replace it in the basket. But this is his basket so he knows where to find things. So like I said, this isn't anything fancy. The really good thing about organizing guys is, just like reallocating your budget, is you might do something and then maybe in another week you might do it again and say, you know, there's a better way I can do this. There's always ways to improve every situation in our life. But from now on when I organize, I'm going to talk to my husband about it first and make sure that he's happy with the way I'm organizing and what I'm doing so he's able to find the things he needs. Now, to the bottom portion. This is the bottom of this, and these are some extra sheets, some towels, and I do want to show you real quickly. My husband's dear mother, her name was Doris. She was so beautiful and crafty. She made this little doily for us, and I'm going to place this in my house, and she was, had such an eye. Didn't she do a beautiful job? That's one of the lovely things that she made, and she also made us this, and, you know, I just have it back in this closet, and I need to use this, so I'm going to find a place in the house where our family can enjoy these more because she was, is a bit, well, was, because she's unfortunately passed away, but she was a very talented lady. So I want to mention that. Also down here, in the, I have all my essential oils in the left. I have some towels, extra, extra sheets. Down here in the corner, I did... I am part of one of my girlfriends is in a multi-level marketing company. I am a loyal customer and I order one product a month. So I have all those products over there in the corner. So that right there is the back closet. This here is my husband's stuff. He's going to get organizing that later. And so he will deal with that. that his, that's his little baby. So like I said, that's our back closet. I'm going to show you our medicine cabinet. Okay. And like I said, I wanted my husband to be able to find things. Nothing fancy. He wants to know where a shaving cream is. There's some medicines here, toothbrushes, thermometer, just some different things that we need. So that's pretty quick. Here's underneath our sink. As you can see, there's not a whole lot. Some cleaning supplies, mouthwash, a basket that has some curling iron, extra shavers, a uh, toilet brush. So nothing fancy. My goal is to keep less items. The less items we have, the easier it is to ignore. I'm going to show you the back bathroom and then we're done. Follow me. This is our back bathroom. Nothing fancy. This mirror is kind of strange, but I don't know if you can see any of it. But I put everything where my husband knows where it is. He's got some extra medicine. Um, this is for my cooking. If I make him eat anything strange like the banana pancakes, he's got extra antacid. Um, and just basically extra heating pads, things like that. Underneath the sink, and I haven't cleaned the bathroom yet, which I'd usually clean it, wipe it up every day. 
Um, there's some just extra things that we might need, toilet brush, you know, extra little, you know, um, pads, things like that. Um, anyway, so a bunch of this stuff. Ooh, guess what I just found while we're talking, guys? I found, oh my gosh, and this does not belong in here. I found an extra shaving cream. So I definitely need to move that out and put it where the shaving cream goes. So excuse me, everybody. Anyway, so I have this. I need to go put that away. So here's just a way that we've organized some things, everyone. I'd love to hear any organizational tips you have. One big tip is to talk to other family members and ask them where they want their items they use placed so they know where to find them. And it really helps with them not getting frustrated or people being frantic and being in a hurry and trying to find things. That's number one. Number two, use up everything you have and buy a little bit less so you don't have as much to organize. And number three, label things. Those are my three huge tips in organizing. So as you, you're going to see over the next several months, I'm going to go through a lot of this stuff and we're going to have less so we have less stuff to deal with. I'd love to know your tips, everybody. I really appreciate you watching my third installment of Organizing Your Life. Love you. Bye.